Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the expeditions. Um, the expeditions have, and the masterpieces, have gone down slightly in price. I feel like at the low end, a lot of them have lost a tremendous amount of value. At GP Houston, they were buying the low end expeditions, which are like Sunken Hollow, uh, Mars, for about $25 cash, and they were selling them for around $45, $50 at that time. They have since dropped in half, but the expeditions that people really want, while dropping $50, $60, $80 here, they still have retained a healthy value because they are fetch lands. And fetch lands have a lot of utility and they have a lot of, and people want play sets of them. I originally, when they came out, I, when they came out Battle for Zendikar, I was going to get a play set of each of them. But then Oath of the Gatewatch came out and then there were more. And later we found out that A for Revolt as well as Kaladesh and any future sets will have expeditions. So then it became impossible to get a copy of each of these because that would be insane. There was a lot of hype around expeditions. I do feel like Wizards of the Coast has done a better job drowning or the Magic Public has done a good job understanding what they are. They are just extra value but that doesn't mean that wizard of coast should be able to create a crappy set battle for zendikar was the crappiest set i've ever played there's no other explanation for it gideon is the only good card in that entire set it's the only playable card in an entire set that is i mean are we in dragon maze again because it feels like battle for zendikar if you look at the set value of battle for zendikar it's insanely low. It's probably one of the lowest um, in standard history. Maybe Dragon Maze was, but Dragon Maze like, then had its Gideon, which was twice as valuable as this Gideon. So, I don't know. When we look at it, uh, when I look at it from the aspect of, okay, are we going to get good cards like Smuggler's Copter? Are we going to get good cards in A for Revolt? Yes. I feel like we still, the set itself needs to be good. You can no longer rely on just having expeditions to sell packs. Even you need a good set and the expeditions are a bonus, but they shouldn't be the main attraction. So which expedition do I like the most on this? Um, I like a Wasteland. I do like Ancient Tomb and I like any of the fetch lands at the lower end. I am a big fan of Hollow Fountain at $62. That seems very low and Blood Crypt at 60. Now let me talk about the other masterpieces from Aether Revolt and Kaladesh. You have Mana Crypt ahead. And as you see, they get lower and lower every time there's a new set. And that's not because more people are opening it. It's because more people are disinterested in that particular expedition or a masterpiece. So when you have Battle for Zendikar, you have a $220 card on the top end. When you went to O for the Gatewatch, you have multiple, you have Ancient Tomb, Wasteland, and they kind of get up there. Here, when we go to Kaldes, we see a lot of cards in the 130s, uh, Crypt, Bridge, Ring, Vault. The only card we see in the top five is Ravenger from the new A for Revolt, but outside of Ravenger, we see a lot of cards on the lower end. Uh, we see a ton of the A for Revolt cards being devalued, if you will, uh, in terms of how much money they are worth. And there's a lot of expeditions under $50 in this set, about half, which is true about the, the Zendikar ones as well. So the masterpieces as a whole, I just get the gut feeling that they cannot save a set. They are only extra value and they only appeal to a type of you know, collector who is really after the most value or after a pimp version of it, while the majority of casual players doesn't really care. So at the end of the day, expeditions are really, it's a bonus, but it cannot save a bad set. Battle for Zendikar, they could have made it good. They could have made Landfall. Landfall was surprisingly bad and unplayable, which is the whole mechanic of Zendikar was Landfall and Fetchlands, and we didn't have either one of them. A for Revolt was a lot better. Uh, I like the set. It has a lot of powerful cards. Kaladesh was a lot better. 
So I, I like the trend where they are going. And in the future, I hope to see a foil expedition Lily, a foil expedition Tamagoyf. I hope that they push good cards on expeditions, in, but also make a good set. The general trend of expeditions is down. Do I expect that to continue? Yes, I expect it to continue mainly because Magic on a whole value-wise has gone down, which is good for players, but Modern is not in a great place right now. Standard is not in a great place right now uh, in terms of how many people are showing up to FNM, in terms of how many people are showing up to a GP. They need to do something to help the game. The showdown packs is probably the way to go and having expeditions in those packs at maybe a higher ratio is a pretty good concept uh, even if you do have to lower the value of these cards overall i i'm not i'm skeptical of the long-term value of expeditions just because we know that they can print them in supplemental product like the showdown packs and what i'll explain why that's so important it's incredibly critical that you can understand that expeditions are treasure packs in real life. They can be put in treasure packs in real life. And it, they can be used for promotional events. It can be used for you know, showdown packs or buy a box booster boxes to implement, to supplement their uh, Hasbro's quarterly earnings. Therefore, I don't expect them to not be reprinted. I expect them to be reprinted. I would be surprised if they are not reprinted in the sense that they can show up in other booster packs and other products and to encourage people to buy things. Um, it, that's the best way to do it is why have an FNM promo when you can have something with the potential, the lottery chance to magic players are gamblers and I think they would much rather have the chance to get in expedition rather than just a crappy promo all the time that's my logic i feel like wizard of the coast will figure that out this year where they need to put like expeditions in these extra packs for players to show up uh, to make it worth their time and at fnm at gps at bigger events uh, why have a prize wall when you can just give these packs out and these packs have you know the value in it uh, and you control the value and the players will generally be happier because they just like opening packs. Anyway, that's my personal opinion of Expeditions. If you agree or disagree, leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.